Hi, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll create a REST API to send a message to the Kafka producer. Well, if you can see the Kafka architecture over here, in previous lecture, we have created Kafka producer, right? In this lecture, we'll create a REST API to send a message to the Kafka producer and then Kafka producer will send that message to the Kafka topic. Okay, let's head over to the IntelliJ idea and let's create uh, one simple REST API to send a message from the client. Well, let me create a new package and let me call it as controller. And within a controller package, let's create a class and let's name it as message controller. Hit enter and let's annotate this controller class with add rest controller annotation in order to make this class as a spring muc rest controller and let's also use add request mapping annotation to define the base url for the rest api so here i'm going to use slash api slash v1 slash kafka well within the message controller we are going to create a rest endpoint so before that we need to inject the kafka producer so let's say private and then kafka producer Kafka producer. So we are going to use a constructor based dependency injection in order, in order to inject Kafka producer. So let me create a constructor over here. Generate constructor and OK. So here we are not going to use at auto void annotation. OK, because if Spring Bean has only one constructor, then we can avoid using at auto void you know annotation. OK, you can use at auto void annotation, but Spring you know 4.2 onwards we can ignore this annotation if spring bean contains only one parameterized constructor so you can see in our case this message controller spring bean has only one parameterized constructor so spring you know spring ioc will by default inject this dependency okay great now let's create a rest endpoint so let's say public and then let's use a response entity as a response type and let's pass string as a type and then let's say send message or let's say publish as the method name and then string message as the method parameter and let's annotate this method with at get mapping annotation and let's pass the URI something like publish and then in order to you know get the value from the url we are going to use query parameters so let's use at request param annotation in order to get the value from the query parameter and let's provide a key as a message okay so we are going to basically retrieve a value from the query parameter that's why we are using here at request param annotation and the key that we are going to define in a query parameter is message. Okay, something like this. So let me let me uh, you know uh, create a REST endpoint URL for you. Let's say HTTP colon localhost colon eight zero eight zero slash API slash v one slash Kafka slash publish. And then in order to define the query parameter, we use question mark followed by the query parameter key that is message and then we provide a value let's say hello world okay so this is the message that we have provided over here as a key okay and in spring we use at request param annotation to retrieve value of this query parameter okay and that value will be stored in this message all right great now let's go and let's call the kafka producer in order to pass this message so here i'm going to call kafka producer and then call its method send message and then pass message to it and simply return response entity dot okay and in a response just pass like message sent to the topic something like this that's it now we have built a simple rest endpoint that will publish a message to the kafka producer and kafka producer internally use kafka template to send that message to the kafka topic 
Now let's run the Spring Boot application and let's call this REST API to send a message to the Kafka topic. Well, let me run the Spring Boot application from here. And you can see Spring Boot application is running on embedded Tomcat server on port 8080. Now let's go to the browser and from the IntelliJ idea. So let me simply copy this URL and paste it in a browser and hit enter. And there we go. Well, REST API has returned the response message sent to the topic. It means that the REST API that we have built to send a message to the Kafka topic is working as expected, right? Now let's go and let's verify whether this hello world message is successfully sent to the Kafka topic or not. In order to do that, let's go to Kafka quick start page over here and let's go to the steps. So let's go to step three create a topic to store your events well we have already created a topic in a kafka cluster using spring boot application let's move to the next step write some events to the topic well we have already created a kafka producer and we have already created a simple rest api to send a you know message to the topic so let let's move to the next step read the events or messages from the topic well we use this command in order to verify whether the message is written to the Kafka topic or not. Okay, so this is basically a, a Kafka provided, uh, you know, SH file. It acts as basically a consumer. So let me simply copy this command and let me execute in a terminal so that we can able to see whatever the, you know, messages that we have sent to the Kafka topic. So let's go to terminal again. And in a terminal, I have to open a new cell. If you are using a Windows, then make sure that you open a Windows, you know, uh, a command prompt. So just go to downloads folder. So we have Kafka in a downloads folder, right? So CD downloads, CD Kafka. And from here, we simply paste the command. Well, within this command, we need to change the topic name. Right here, you can see the topic name quick start hyphen events, but we have given a topic name as Java guides, right? So let's go ahead and let's change this topic name to Java guides and hit enter. And here you can see. So these are the messages that are there in a Kafka topic. Okay. And we have sent hello world message, right? So now we can able to read that hello world message from the Kafka topic. Well, let me send one more message. So let's say, let's say test Kafka message in a topic, something like this and hit enter and let's go to terminal and there we go. Test Kafka message in a topic. So it means that Kafka producer has sent a message to the Kafka topic and Kafka consumer you know consumes that message from the Kafka topic well let's go ahead and let's send one more message to the topic let's say Kafka topic one two three something like that and go back to terminal and you can able to see Kafka topic one two three is successfully you know read from the Kafka topic so this Kafka console consumer.sh file so this sh file we can use to simply read the events or messages from the kafka topic okay now we have seen how to read a events or message from the kafka topic by using command line in next lecture we will create a kafka consumer to consume the message from the kafka topic all right i will see you in the next lecture